Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Landlin, and we're back with episode 50 of Feed the Beast Departed. Now, I've done a little bit of thinking about my dilemmas regarding the constant deaths, and I actually haven't finished giving my stuff back. Um, I still need the alacrity armor, and then that should be it. There. Everything pretty much recovered. Some things I didn't grab because they were just kind of like just junk. I wasn't really concerned about. Uh, but I got all the important stuff that I ma wanted to make sure that I had. Oh, actually, I didn't get the lunchbox. Okay, lunchbox. Okay, so we're back. We're all back into fighting order. Um, what I'm actually going to do, this episode, we are going to go fight, what's his name? We're going to go fight Silverfoot again. Um, I have a few ideas in mind to kind of make the fight a little bit easier, uh, specifically how he got stuck last time. Actually, let me save a copy of my inventory, just in case this happens a billion trillionth time. And I'm going to keep it in utility mode just in case it happens again so I can switch to creative. In case I fall through the world. Um, which hopefully will save me. I'm honestly not sure if it actually will. What? There's more food in there than that. Mm, but there's not. Alright, so yeah. Like I said, we're going to basically go cheese the fight. Remember last time we got stuck in between all those blocks? I'm going to try and do that again. <laughs> I was so close last time and I just got bopped because I was being kind of silly a little reckless if you will trying to fight him so yeah so anyway like I said welcome to episode 50 of Feed the Beast Departed I am Landlin I'm actually super stoked to be here um, last episode we ran into a lot of issues in regards to traveling back and forth between dimensions um, that being said I'm kind of looking into maybe wrapping up the series after these after this episode to be honest uh, but we'll see. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go through this episode as normal. Everything's going to be hunky-dory as usual. And then I'm going to leave it up to you guys. I'm going to leave a straw poll in the in the description of this video with a couple options to choose how you want the rest of the Departed series to go. Um, there's a couple options that I'm going to have in there. One might be to continue on with everything up, like basically in cheap mode. Obviously, I won't be cheating. But it'll all be here just in case something like that happens again. So, you know, I can quickly make a copy of my inventory um, when I fall through the world and die. And then respawn and I can quickly get it all back. Because you see, if I, if I like, you know, toss my enchanted broom and hit load up the inventory, boom. It'll load up everything that was saved. So that's an option. Uh, another option is to just end the series right there. Um, and I, I guess it's pretty much the only two options. Uh... Progressing as normally doesn't really seem to be effective. Like, I don't, I've never had any issues coming through the portal into the other dimension. It's always going back to the overworld, which makes me believe that it might have something to do with the structure that the portals are built on. Wow, uh, I don't know where that block went. Did the grass just eat it? What the heck? What is going on? Does the grass really eat blocks? Or this grass? No, so that block just kind of just kind of disappeared. They're just kind of like, see it? Oh. oh, okay. Well, today I learned apparently when you punch netherrack, it drops on the ground. <laughs> I did not know that. That is news to me. All right, so iron mine stone will work fine. So yeah. Oh, actually, you know what I forgot? Just kidding, just kidding. And I almost flew all the way over to the professor. Too much blabbing. All right, so moment of truth. Everyone cross your fingers. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything's straight. We're good. All right, here we go. <gasps> Please, no. Okay. <sighs> but yeah, I think after reviewing the previous footage, I think what's happening is I'm coming through the portal and then I'm falling through this, getting stuck under it, and then just dying. So... Yeah, kind of sucks. That's why I think switching to creative mode should save me. But, I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah. I forgot to grab my... Wait, is it in here? Oh, no. Are you about to tell me that I actually lost all of that? I did. I forgot I lost all that lionite ore. Now, before before I go ahead and start, you know, throwing around lionite and gets for free, let me double check to make sure that I didn't put it somewhere and forgot that's where it was. Let me check all my chests, all my chests. 
Because I had about a stack and a half. I had a stack and a half before I went and sold a bunch of stuff to the professor guy to get... Okay, so, yes, that was all lost. So I'm just going to give a stack, and that's it. And we should be good with that. Go ahead and reload that back up, just in case we fall back through. Um, so we needed a stack of lionite ingots, or I need 20 lionite ingots, actually. So let me actually, before I die legitimately and... What? Oh, come on. I didn't even know that was an option with inventory tweaks. Actually, I don't even know why that happened. I shift left clicked it and it tossed it out of my inventory. So yeah, it's just one silver coin, I think. It's either one or five. I can't remember. So I'm going to bring five, just to be sure. Make sure I got some ammo on me. I got my sniper rifle. All right, let's go back to the professor. Who is that way? Yeah, the downside to the map being up there in the upper right-hand corner is when I'm heading towards destinations, I can't actually see where they're at. I just have to kind of guess what kind of direction they are. North, northwest, or northeast. And coming in for landing. Narrowly juking out of the way of an oncoming projectile. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Let's grab another one of these. There we go. So a little bit of a background trivia and lore. The Silverfoot. Wait, that was his name? That's Silverfoot. Oh, no. I closed the page. I don't remember what his name exactly was. Silver something or other. Um, it's actually the professor's pet. It's like his little, his little dog. His little jerk dog that killed us. And we are going the wrong way. Oh, was Silverfoot. Nice. Good job, me. I'm still not totally sure what those are for, but I don't think they're used for anything that I've explored yet. Like, I think I need to do a few more things with Advent of Ascension before I can explore them. Or to use them. I think they're room related, but I'm not sure. Here it is. How did I not see this big netherrack disgustingness? Alright, we have landed. Good to go. So what I'm actually going to do is this. <laughs> because I can get through, but he can't. This is where we want to head. We want to head through here, so he'll basically just be like right there going, Oh no, I can't attack you. And I just smack the shit out of him. Simple as that. So not this way, not... How did you even get into places? What the heck? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There no monsters could spawn in here. Am I holding a block? What? <laughs> That's hilarious. My skeleton, my corpse is holding a block. Oh, it's because I have stuff in my inventory. Oh, that's crazy. So the first item in the skeleton's inventory will actually, it'll hold it. And it, that's funny. That is really funny. Oh, I just got some silver coins. Oh, I already had those. Oh, I didn't even see you there. Okay, so it kind of looks like I should run around here and make sure everything is cleared out. Because the last thing we want is to be fighting this guy and have one of those stupid little thief things take my axe like that. We should be good. I think I've pretty much explored the major areas. Alright. Uh, now the question is, what is the ideal route to take? 
Okay, so what we want to do, as soon as we summon him, we want to smack him a couple times with the Troll Basher Axe and then kite him out this way to the left, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the left, to the right. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we just want to basically just keep making right turns for the most part. All right, here we go, boys. To the right, to the left, to the left. Huh. Ha, ah, buddy. Ha, ha, ha. And this is how you cheese the fight. Well, this is how I chose to cheese the fight. We, we, we did it legit once, for the most part. Granted, we did die there at the end. So, I want to see exactly how much health he had left right before he killed me. So... At this point, I thought he was almost dead. Yeah, he wasn't even close. Okay, so yeah, you have to go through... The silver port foot portion. And got him. So what do you got? What do we got? A line of staff. We got another bold rifle. Hmm. And we got an Iro miner. Warning, has recoil malfunctions. I don't think this dropped from him. No, yeah, that doesn't drop from him. This dropped from him. He dropped the Lionic Staff. One of these guys more than likely came from one of the um, enemies. Oh, we got a statue of him, too. Nice. We lost our statue of uh, the other guy. Makes me sad. But awesome. He dropped some pretty cool stuff. He has, of course, he can drop this staff, which we actually can't use at all. Because 33% chance to deal double damage. Nice. Well, we don't have any runes, so we can't actually use this staff. So, um, given that our little cheese strategy actually worked out pretty well, and I have an okay amount of lionite ingots, well, I did. I have to go get some more. But anyway, nice. Hell yeah. So with that, I think I'm going to actually call the iron mine, like this whole area, complete. I'm going to head back to my base, and we're going to look towards maybe heading towards a different dimension. Um, I'd actually like to go to Lunalis because the whole ridiculous amount of copper coin situation that I have going on here. I'm going the wrong direction. So, that being said, uh, the only way we can get to Lunalis is to actually fight. We've actually killed the terrestrial guy before to actually make the Lunalis uh, portal spawn. Uh, but I kind of avoided it going in there because at the time we weren't really ready to be doing any of that. So... Yeah, I'm hoping that I can come across another Extreme Hills biome, which we should. There's one kind of right across the way from where we're staying at Bravo Base. And yeah, that's where we can find ourselves some bankers. Although it's another one of those spooky void worlds where falling to your death is quite an option. Portal? Nice. Nice. Wow, that is a lot of dudes. Why do so many of you spawn? What the hell? Like when I say I think Abbot of, uh, like I think Abbot of Ascension would be really, really easy on a multiplayer server. Mostly has to do with the fact that like you wouldn't ever have this many people spawning. Like that'd be insane. The entity count just doesn't go up that high. Give me okay, I'm gonna hold my shovel so I don't lose my shovel. Or lose my awesome stuff. Dude, these stupid plants God as always, got to give ourselves the save load, make sure that our inventory is good to go. You know what, we might as well take a screenshot to you just in case. Might as well save a couple more copies of the inventory just in case these all get destroyed as well when I fall through the world. All right, everybody, give me your energy. We're passing through the portal. Here we go. Please don't fall through the world. Please don't fall through the world. Yay! We took a little bit of damage, though. That was weird.
Ha ha. All right, cool. So we killed the boss. Um, he does actually drop some other cool stuff. He drops um, of like like everybody else, he drops a couple of ranged weapons, a couple of melee weapons, uh, and we got the staff, which is actually of the four things that he drops, the most useless, <laughs> because we don't actually like I don't do any of the rune stuff. Which, I mean, looking back, probably should have. Just like I probably should have got started with Thomcraft as well, and done a little bit more at Patania. But you know what? I got a lot of cool witchery stuff going, and I'm really happy with that. So, first things first, if we want to get to Lunalis, what, wait, what the heck? Why is this a square? What? That is very bizarre. I don't understand why just this spot suddenly became unexplored. Okay, whatever. But yeah. Yeah, if you remember way, way, way long ago when we originally moved to this base, I decided to stay here for a couple of reasons. One of those reasons being that this up here is supposedly an extreme hills biome. Yeah, nice. Uh, that means that the boss that we're looking for, well, not really a boss, just uh, kind of a rare spawn that we're looking for, will spawn up here. And when we kill him, he should open a portal. Now, the downside is, is he only spawns when the nasty moon guys spawn. So we're going to have to kind of hang out until we get a blood hunt or, you know, something along those lines. But for now, I can just shoot at things, I guess. Um, something else that we can look for is a jungle biome. I don't recall really coming across too many jungle biomes either in my travels. Uh, because there are some monsters there that we can fight that will kind of give us... Um, It'll give us access to more realm zones, so more realms, and that's always cool. Um, maybe that's how I will complete the series. Maybe from now I'll just leave this on. I'll leave this on, you know, just so we don't have to worry about losing our inventory when we go through the portals. Um, and the goal for the series will just be to visit all the realms. I mean. Maybe not necessarily fight all the bosses, but at least take a look and see how all the realms are looking and all that fun stuff. And fight the bosses that we can actually beat. <laughs> I like that idea. So, that being said... Oh man, I didn't know that those guys, little cultist guys, are that close. That being said, a jungle biome would be ideal. Because, uh, again, some mobs that spawn there that only spawn in jungle biomes drop some useful stuff to getting to other dimensions. And doing a couple other things, actually. There's a couple bosses in the nether, actually, that I didn't even know about. One of which doesn't look too hard. Uh, the other one looks super hard. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, damn. I mean, I guess I just kind of hang out until it gets dark. Dude, I love flying around in this broom. So, yeah, I'm literally not doing anything right now. So I'm going to cut, hang out, see if I can't get it to hopefully spawn within a decent amount of time. Although, I don't really have any control over that. But, you know, here's to hoping. Be right back. So, it's dark, and unfortunately it's not the correct time for these guys to spawn. But I did find this thing. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I think it might be like some sort of, like, ocean mine mint or something. Oh, there's little duders in here. What? Dude, how am I never high enough to kill any of these hunter mobs? I'm level 50. What's my hunter? My hunter level's 24, but I think it goes by your player level, not your, like, actual hunter level. Which kind of makes me wonder what's the point of the hunter levels. Which, again, then makes me question whether it is actually the hunter levels that are the difference or if it's player levels, but I don't know. Needless to say, I very rarely do I actually come across any hunter mobs I can actually damage, so... Maybe it is actually my hunter level in the end. Are there any fat loots in here, though? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. That's too bad. I was hoping for some, some fatty loots. See, I've been flying around a little bit trying to see if this guy can spawn. I thought that type of moon was a full moon, but it, it is definitely not. 
to be honest, the uh, the the uh, picture of a full moon on the Minecraft wiki doesn't really look like a full moon because everything's a block, so it's kind of hard. But I thought that was it. So I thought I got super lucky, but I guess not. What I have been doing in the meantime, as you can see, the experience all over the ground is sniping people. A little hard to do when you're moving because this gun is actually kind of inaccurate. But it's still, it's still cool. Oh, yeah. See, I was able to get somebody. Bam. It does a lot of damage, which is really cool. 50 range damage, which is hella high. But it's slow, pretty inaccurate. However, if you can, if you can float in the air, man, you can just snipe people all day. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> That's awesome. So anyway, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is cut the episode here. I'm going to kind of hang out and wait for this to spawn so we can fight him and see if we can't get ourselves into Lunalis to get a nice little forward operating base going. And then we can start going from there. Much like we did with the, um, with the Deep Lands and Iron Mine. We'll probably just go through, explore a little bit, check out some of the cool structures, see if there are any bosses that we can kill with our current gear set up, which isn't too bad, so long as we don't get killed, uh, and then go from there. So thanks for watching, guys. I have been Lanolin. Um, again, I'm going to leave a straw poll in the description of this video um, with some options for you guys to vote on, on how you want to see the direction of this series go. Like I said, it's really frustrating to constantly have to rebuild my inventory whenever I go through one of those portals if one of them happens to fail. So I think kind of cruising along with, uh, well, uh, I guess you could say the, the cheat mode options open, you know, so I can make sure that I can save my inventory and don't die. I think is, uh, I think is fair. I think that's fair. Um, and also along in that straw poll would be, you know, again, what direction you want to take it in. Do you want me to kill all the bosses? Do you want me to just visit all the realms? Do you want me to end it now and start on something new? You know, it's up to you. It is up to you guys. So thanks for watching, guys. I have been Landlin. This has been Feed the Beast Departed, episode 50. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.